All right, everybody, with that being said, it's time to move on to my favorite part of the show, Gun Talk. And today I want to answer a question from multiple viewers, but I got the question again yesterday. It's how do you care for titanium cylinders on these lightweight revolvers? I have a few of these guns and I love them. It took me a long time to get to where I would trust scandium and titanium. I'm a stainless steel or carbon steel kind of guy. And I always just felt that these things were eh, not up to par with handling the stresses of being uh, a firearm, basically. Uh, but, you know, I've gotten my old brain to accept some new things in my life, and I've started to accept titanium and scandium guns. At least as working guns, because they make such great working guns. But, since they are different materials, they require different care. And a lot of people say, well, how do you clean them? How do you keep yours looking brand new? Well, a lot of people know I'm very meticulous about my guns. I keep them looking as good as I can possibly keep them. I want my guns to be well-maintained. They're tools. You don't put your tools away greasy or dirty or anything. You take care of them. But the idea that I keep them looking brand new is kind of a falsehood. I mean, I like to try with stainless steel guns, etc. It's kind of possible, but not always totally possible. But with the scandium and stuff, that's an illusion. A lot of people will think I keep it perfect because they'll see my posts on Instagram and they'll be like, wow, you said you just went to the range and that gun looks perfect. Well, it looks perfect because I photoshopped the hell out of it. That's why it looks perfect. If you look at my guns up close, you'll see they're not perfect. As you can clearly see, it is not perfect looking. It's got burn marks on it. It's got rub marks on it. The only place it ever looks brand new is, like I said, on the internet when I'm photoshopping it. It just has a lot of marks on it. And that's because I don't want to have wear on it. I'd rather have burn marks and stuff than wear because the titanium has a coating on it. So I don't really scrub this very much. If you look at the front of it, it's like pure black. So what I do with the cylinder part of this gun after I shoot it, I clean the barrel just like normal because it's stainless steel. But I use a nylon brush to clean out the uh, chambers on the cylinder instead of a wire brush. And then on the actual outside of the cylinder, all I do is I spray it with oil, let it sit for like 10 minutes, and then I just come back with a lint-free cloth and wipe it down. I mean, the only thing you really have to worry about is if you had so much carbon buildup on the front of the cylinder that it somehow started interfering with the forcing cone. Not likely to happen if you wipe it down after you use it every time. So just doing that, just wiping it down, it keeps it nice and flat and clean. It's just not going to look pretty. Uh, and you could make it look pretty, but like I say, I think you would cause undue wear on the cylinder. So just remember this, uh, nylon brush, nylon cylinder brush for the, uh, nylon, excuse me, bore brush for the chambers, and then just spray it down with oil and wipe it down. That's all I do. And this gun has never failed me. It's in great condition. I, like I say, it doesn't look perfect. It's not totally cleaned off. If this was stainless steel, I could get all that off there and not worry about anything. But since it is titanium and it does have a coating on it, I don't mess with that. I just get it clean, like I said. Don't worry about it looking perfect. When you draw your gun and use it, looks don't mean anything. Uh, maybe it does when you're choosing what you want to carry. But when you're actually using it, you know, a little wear on it doesn't look bad. And it's not necessary to make it look brand new for it to function like it's brand new. So with a carry gun, especially if it's something like this that you can cause excessive wear on by cleaning it too much, just get it to where it is clean and it's not going to malfunction and that's all you gotta do. Looks really don't matter that much. And besides, like I said, even with a little bit of dirt on it, this gun still looks awesome.